Hey guys, I am back to film my manga haul for the month of April 2021. Um, once again, it's not too big. I've really been trying to cut down on buying manga just because space. Space is an issue. And I've been trying to get, like, some more digital so that they obviously don't take up space. So yeah, but these are the few that I ended up getting for April. Um, most of them are just continuations, but I did end up getting one that I fell behind on. So I got oops, the third and the fourth volume of Perfect World. I had one and two and I just kept getting behind on catching up on this one. Actually, I actually think there's a fifth volume out, but I couldn't find it when I was shopping with my cousins at the bookstore. So I did get these two physically from uh, Barnes and Nobles, but yeah, I couldn't find the fifth one. I guess I could just, you know, go buy it online, but oh well. So this is about a guy and a girl who I guess, I think were like friends in high school or something. And then they meet again when they get older and um, the male is in a wheelchair and it's their journey of being together with a disability in the mix, so to speak. So there is that. The next one on that size that I got is Blue Flag Volume 7. Blue Flag is so cute. Um, it like, <laughs> it doesn't uh, um, like hold any punches. It's definitely got a lot of heavy topics in it, but it's just that the characters and the relationships and everything else, they're just super adorable. And I think it's getting close to, I think, I think Volume 8 is the last volume. So, yeah, it'll definitely be interesting for sure to see how this wraps up. And then the next one I ended up getting was also one that apparently is the last volume of the series. I had no clue the series was already ending, and I'm kind of sad because it was really good. But I'm looking forward to this last volume, and that is Kino's Journey Volume 8. Uh, I had no clue. They're like, the thrilling travel tales of travel and discovery come to a close in this final volume. I was like, what? Wait, where? So Kino travels around with like a talking motorcycle and um, Kino basically like goes to a whole bunch of different countries and only stays there for I think it's like three nights and just sees like what life is like in these different places because they're all so very different and it's just very interesting but um yeah I'm kind of sad that it ended the, I know they have a n novel I think a light novel I wonder if it goes past where the manga goes because maybe I consider continuing with that so if anyone's actually read the I think it's a light novel correct, correct me if I'm wrong if anyone's actually read the light novel for Kino's Journey do you know if you've read both if it goes past the manga because I'm curious and next off we have got Candy Color Paradox which is my only Sublime manga that came in this month I don't get too many from Sublime because most of them to me feel problematic, but this one's not. This is just like two like reporters that are dating and it's really cute. Um, I do not know when this one's supposed to end. This one takes a while to come out, so it, it, it's been a hot minute since I read the fourth volume. You need to go that way, yes. Uh, the next one that I ended up getting, actually I think, I think this one is the second to last volume for this one as well. So a lot of my series are ending, which I mean, in theory, that's a good thing because that's less series I'm collecting and I'm trying not to like start new ones. Okay, I'm still starting new ones, but I'm trying not to start as many new ones because I really don't have space. I really don't have space. Um, so this is The Girl from the Other Side, volume 10. I think 11 is the last volume, but this is about like, creatures that I guess are kind of like infected and kind of turn into like these like monster type tree looking things and um, Shiva is a girl who basically is living with one of those creatures as her teacher 
and the humans can't figure out why she hasn't turned into one of them because she keeps being touched and the thing is is if you are touched by one of these creatures you're supposed to turn into one of these creatures and like volume nine like woo buddy left off in a cliffhanger so i'm really curious to see like i feel like it's not going to end well <laughs> oh and speaking of another series that ended <laughs> an incurable case of love ended with this volume too so this is so cute um, this is basically about a girl who, when she was younger, she watched this doctor, like, save this, I guess, older lady across the street from her, and she was so enamored, like, with the whole process that she decided to become a nurse, and then she tries to basically find where this doctor is and becomes a nurse in his hospital, only to realize that he's kind of a dick, and this is, like, their story, and it's so cute. So there's a lot of me finishing volumes here, or getting close to finishing volumes here, which is kind of interesting. And next off, we have got, this one just came like, perfect timing, the last like, day in April. And it is the Angie Magus Bride Volume 14! This is such a good story! I am so looking forward to continuing this second arc. I think we've caught up, so I feel like it's like, a hot minute every time we get one of these. I think it's like six months apart, but I could be wrong, I can't remember that. But I don't feel like this one's any ending anytime soon, so there's that. And speaking of series that are never ending, I, I can't imagine this thing is ever going to actually end, but I guess they could surprise me. Yona of the Dawn, volume 29! I still have to read 28, I fell behind on Yona! I was so good about catching up on most of my manga for the 30 and 30 challenge, and for some reason, Yona just didn't happen. I think it was because I knew I had this volume, so I was like, well, I could just read 28 and 29 together, so I'll just hold off until I film this. Not realizing that I was literally going to have to film it on May 1st, because this one didn't show up till the 29th. 30th. 30th of April. So there's that. <laughs> so there is that. And then the last volume of manga that I got, this one actually got um, delayed, so that's why I was kind of like, oh wait, you came, okay, cool. It is Hurricane Receive, volume 7. It is my only, like, sports, sport, sports, words are hard, sports manga that I collect. Those are words, Lindy, that's how the words work. So this is the only sports manga that I actually collect. It is about girls that play volleyball, and it is cute. And I really like, I mean, like, I really like the friendship aspect of it. They're all super, like, just, they love each other, and it's adorable. And I just like watching the team building and the friendships and everything else for this, which is why I know people apparently like sports manga. I mean, I used to read, like, well, actually, I used to watch Prince of Tennis back in the day, and I did read it, but I just couldn't keep up with the manga, and I think, like, Viz dropped it, or whoever was putting it out dropped it, so I just gave mine away, because, yeah, it was never gonna happen, I don't think. Anyways. So, yeah, this is, like, I, I feel like I'm hopeful that this one is actually going to end, so that I can, like, collect a full sports series, because I feel like most of them are really raw, really, really, really long. I don't know how long this one is, because I really have no clue. And it got delayed, so I kind of wonder if we've, like, caught up to Japan, which is why it got delayed, but I'm not actually sure. I've never thought to look this up. But anyways, there's that. And that is everything that I got for the month of April. Not a very big stack. I mean, it's not big to me. I mean, hello, Bizarre Individual, with your 46 volumes a month. So, yes, this is tiny. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys later for the next one. Everyone have a very good rest of the day.